Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. I'm going to show you how I cut my own pixie and I'm going to clean up mainly the back because I really like the layers on the front. So I'm actually going to grow out my hair. First of all, you're going to need a cape. I have this just generic black cape. You're going to need a guarded razor and you are going to need a pair of scissors that fit nicely into your hands, preferably sharp thinning shears which you can get at a drugstore i'm going to be using my texture shears which are a little bit wider they don't take out as much hair as thinning shears you're going to need a small white tooth comb something like this it's going to fit nicely in your hands two clips or more depending on how thick your hair is my hair is pretty fine you're also going to need a vacuum cleaner and you also want to dress in something that you don't really care much for because you will get hair on your clothes and it's going to be very itchy and you're going to have to throw it in the wash get comfortable let's get started first thing you want to do is you want to separate the back of your head from the front of your head now my hair grows forward so I am brushing everything forward with my little comb and I'm going to be separating the back of my hair where the bulk of my hair is with the clips that I was telling you about these don't leave any dents in the hair so it's really really easy to uh, separate both sides and mainly I'm gonna be taking out the bulk you want to use your texture shears or thinning shears with the comb grab the bulk of your hair where you feel like that is where most of your hair is sitting, the parts that are driving you crazy. Be very careful. All shears are very sharp, so I want you to take this very slowly. If you have someone who can do this for you, you are very lucky I had to do this myself. Now you wanna go with the round of the head. Grab the hair. At this point, you just wanna get rid of most of the bulk. This isn't a very precise haircut. If you were coming to see me as a client, I would definitely give you a more precise haircut, but where this is mainly a maintenance haircut, the text shears or the thinning shears can give you quite a great haircut I can already feel so much better I can feel the shape of my head as I'm cutting my hair it feels really really nice and smooth and I'm continuously going around the head start cutting from underneath instead of on top of your fingers and continuously take the hair up because the higher you lift the hair the softer the effect so don't be afraid to take out that bulk as long as you lift the hair upwards it's really fine you want to continue to comb and test how your hair is feeling. Uh, you can see I awkwardly tried to get the left hand side of my head. It's pretty awkward. So behind the ear is usually where we have a lot of hair sitting. It usually grows long and it drives us crazy and it gets really bulky. So just use the texture or the thinning shears to take out those corners because you want them to hug your, your neck. You want them to hug the nape of the neck. You want them to hug the shape of your head. I have a quite a small head, so I want to make sure that my pixie hugs my head so that it gives me the most uh, flattering haircut. I'm doing a little bit of scissor over comb here. I don't think it was very effective. If you have someone who can do this for you, by all means, go ahead. I wanted to include that in the video just to show you that it is a possible to do if you want to do that yourself. I can still feel so much bulk behind my ear on the occipital bone. There's a lot of weight there, so the hair is just kind of collapsing. So I wanted to get that off so that I give myself a really nice soft effect. Now you want to measure your hair for accuracy to make sure that both sides are even and just keep refining as you go. I am obsessed with refining. I want to make sure that the back of my head is super short because I don't want to have to do this again for a long time. So just go keep going around the head and keep lifting the hair up because that will give you the softest effect. Now I'm taking out the clips and I'm brushing my hair back. The next step we have to do is blending the back with the front or the front with the back. Otherwise we're going to get a very disconnected haircut. So brush the hair back and I do want to let you know that I did wash and air dry my hair. There's absolutely no product in my hair. Now I'm taking out any corners that are just sitting around kind of sticking out that were not blended. Brush all of the hair together and then whatever is sticking out or that's bothering you or maybe there's a little bit of extra weight, uh, you can use your thinning shears or the texture shears to take out uh, any hairs that just shouldn't be there. Keep brushing the hair in place, shake it out and see how it feels. I can feel that there is a still a little bit more weight over here where I'm cutting right now. And that's why I really wanted to soften that. As the hair grows, what could happen is the hair may end up feeling really, really heavy and mullety almost. Now I was really feeling that. 
continue to do the same thing on the other side of the hair. It's going to be a little bit more awkward for you for one side than other the other side. I'm right-handed, so this is really difficult for me. Now it's starting to feel really nice and soft, and now I'm text testing the measurement. So just to check that both sides are even, I'm obsessed with all these little hairs. So behind the ear is always the bulkiest and the weirdest, and sometimes they, our hair grows funny. So we may have funny growth patterns behind our ears or on our necks we might have whorls or cowlicks um, it's okay the those texture shears really take care of that now i'm grabbing my scissors and i'm taking off the straggly hairs so what happens when you use your thinning shears or texture shears you're always going to get a lot of these stragglies so you want to go in with your shears with your scissors and take them off otherwise you're going to have just a lot of frizz uh, the more you clean those up the cleaner your haircut is going to be so i'm lifting the hair up for a softer effect i'm lifting up the sides as well and cleaning up any hairs that are not even showing up on camera but they are there and they will drive you crazy uh, the top part which is the basically the crown and um, that whole area on the top of the head you want to lift it up and just cut whatever you need to cut. I'm keeping the length of my hair because I like it, I'm growing it. So you wanna over direct the sides that you want soft uh, for a softer effect. So the more you over direct the hair, the softer the layers. Now I take everything off and it's time for the neck cleanup. I'm taking my guarded razor and I'm cleaning up my neck. Make sure you go with the round of the head. Again, this is really important because this kind of really refines your haircut. I had to do this myself, so if you have someone else to help you, you are very lucky. You want to follow your natural hairline. Everyone has a different hairline. So mine behind the ear grows a little bit diagonally, which is nice because then it's easier for me to clean up with the razor. I went around and I cleaned up some more. And this is a little technique that I like to do, which is kind of like feather stroking the hair with the razor so that it breaks up any kind of solid line on the neck. That is the full tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I helped you. I hope I uh, deconstructed how to cut your own pixie at home. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. I hope I see you very soon in another video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lena's Makeup and Hair. See you soon. Bye.